Hi there, so this video is going to be a bit of a continuation um, from the video that I did about mastering the neutrality zone. <clears throat> and I think I said in that video, your twin connection is in the neutrality zone. It's at that balance point or that zero point or whatever you want to refer to it as um, in the now moment where both your energies are fully present with each other. In, in the now moment, in this present timeline. So there's nothing attached um, from the past or projected forward to the future. You're, you're fully here, grounded in the, the present reality. And as well as that, I wanted to talk about um, how, as well as detaching from the past and stuff, to get into alignment with your twin, it's also about or to be able to magnetise the connection, it's also about being able to temper the flame. Let me explain what I mean by temper the flame. <clears throat> it's... So, there's... I've spoken before about the sort of running and chasing dynamic that can happen. And a lot of the time, um, it's not actually about you running and chasing from them as a separate person, or, or to like, chasing them, or running from them as a separate entity. Um, and I think like sometimes anyway we can get quite caught up in um, why is she running away from me or why is he running away from me what is it about me that's making them run and it's not that at all or most of the time in my experience it's, it's not that been that at all it's been about running from self and, and being uncomfortable in self but staying in that neutral point for whatever reason um, that could be to do with trauma from the past or it could just be uncomfortable feelings that they don't want to feel in the now moment um, and I can't speak for the masculine experience with this but I will share something from my experience and that I believe um, a lot of feminines uh, will go through in this journey um, it's when you meet your twin um, or even just whenever you connect with them because they sort of come and go in your reality. Whenever you connect with them, um, for me anyway, it created a, a really intense feeling in my body. Um, whenever I'm around him, it makes me feel like a walking orgasm. Like, <laughs> um, and rather than running away from him, that's what I was running away from. Like, I wasn't comfortable holding that energy and sitting with that flame, so to speak, sitting with that, the, the intensity of that energy that I felt in my body, or that I still feel in my body. But that's part, not being able to stay present with that is partly why he will run from you, because you're not staying present with him and yourself. You're not staying present with your body. So his response to that is to run away from you as a person or to not like, to not feel safe, like to be with you because you can't stay present with him. Even like, the best of your intentions, logically, you're like, why is he not with me? Like I'm totally present with him. And even if you have detached from the past stuff and you've processed old emotions and all that, if you can't sit with that um, energy, and you can't sit with that feeling that he gives you, then um, then he'll still run from you. The only way to get him to be to stay present with you is by you staying present with everything that comes up around him. But particularly, I found it particularly difficult or particularly challenging as far as that's concerned, as far as that intense sexual energy. Um, and it also, like, I feel quite disconnected from my body for a long time. So that, um, that didn't help because I wasn't used to feeling that energy. But the more and more that I get into my body and the more I get present in my body, the easier it is to hold that intensity. Um, but the more used to it I am because it's more of, like, a, a, it's more something that I feel day to day and I feel that um, flame in my body. I feel that connection in my body which which um, which wasn't familiar before like, like I was quite numb in my body before um, 
and I don't mean before meeting him or just before meeting him I mean like even like more recently than that like it's only been the last year or so that I've actually really started to feel um, fully connected to my body like that and feeling that fire inside me um, yeah but like you have to basically when, when you get present um, in terms of things being detached from, from anywhere but the now moment it's about being able to sit with that energy and stay with him whilst um, like especially when you see him like stay with him generally like him as in your inner masculine but um, especially when you see him around you you have to still hold that presence and in relation to this I've noticed um, I think I mentioned the pendulum swing in the last video as well but um, you've got to kind of not allow that massive spike to happen um, either like the, the, the massive excitement that they give you or the, or the massive high that you feel even although it's kind of like you've got to stay in this like almost unnatural state of balance when you see them and, and not not allow it to um, spike you your emotionally not allow, you, not allow it to um, pull you out of that centre point emotionally and like feel that feeling but like stay neutral with it which which takes practice um i guess it's like energy mastery like this whole journey is like about self mastery but it's also about awareness of your energy and mastering your energy so yeah so yeah tempering the flame is, is a big part of being able to stay in the in the neutral zone in the neutrality zone and uh, yeah, I think that's all for now. I'll be back with some more wisdom soon. And also I wanted to say, um, if you enjoy my videos, please uh, like and subscribe them. Click the little bell if you want to get notifications on my new videos. And if you want to contact me, if you've got any questions or anything you need help with, um, my email is untameyourflame at gmail.com. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.